In this video, you will learn how to read different type of values in Python through Python shell or script. Python provides a function named input to read values in Python. So for example, I want to read a string value using input function. You see I have already opened spider on my screen. So I will be starting with input function. Suppose I type a name is equal to input enter your name. When I press enter you see a message is displayed as enter your name. Enter name has been given inside input function. So this same message will be displayed on screen. Suppose I type here. Now this value lovejoth has been stored in variable name. I can type print name to display the value stored in string variable name. To read an integer value I need to use int function along with input. Suppose I type a number is equal to int input enter and integer value. So suppose I type here 10. 10 is stored in variable number. So by using print function, I can see value stored in number. Similarly, I can read real values. By using float function along with input function. Enter a real value. Suppose I type here 2.56 on printing num2 it will display value of variable num2. Similarly we can also put complex values in variables using uh, input function along with complex function. Suppose I take name num3 is equal to complex input a complex value uh, there is a mistake here message will be displayed as enter complex value suppose I type here 2.5 plus 3.6 G when I print it will be displayed as it is now to read a boolean value suppose I take variable name as b1 I need to use function bool along with input function enter boolean value enter boolean value So now you can type here true or false and when I display b1 it will show value true which has been stored inside variable b1. Now I will talk of how to read 
a list tuple dictionary and set using input function i will demonstrate that using python ideally it can be used in both spider as well as python ideally suppose i need to read a list i take a variable l1 is equal to input enter a list why reading the values you need to type values within the pair of square brackets suppose i put 10 20 40 when i display l1 it will show values stored in list l1 similarly to read a tuple i need to use suppose i take variable t1 enter a tuple while entering the values you need to use pair of parentheses to enter the value you should be aware that a tuple can contain different types of values in it and this is also true for list dictionary as well as a set when i use print function with t1 it will give the value stored in tuple t1 similarly to read a dictionary i can use input function as while feeding the values of a dictionary as you are aware that dictionary is a set of keys and values so i need to put values in the same manner as we put in a normal dictionary on printing d1 values stored in dictionary will be shown similarly i can also read a set using the input function suppose i name it as uh, s1 and uh, again while inputting values i need to use pair of braces and i can directly put values here when i display s1 using print function the value stored in set s1 will be displayed so this was all about how we can use input function to read different types of values in python